Hello everybody, it is Jordan Nicole and today I couldn't be happier because one, I have a venti mocha frappuccino and I now have a lot of energy and I'm hyper so no better time to film a video, am I right? But um, also today was my last day of class of my sophomore year and tomorrow's reading day and then finals start on Thursday. I have one on Friday, one on Monday, and one on Tuesday. And then I move out a week from Thursday. So I only have a week and a half left before my summer officially begins on May 11th. So I honestly could not be happier because when I think of summer, I think of reading a ton of books and get a, getting a ton of reading done. So no further ado, today I'm going to do my April wrap up and show you what I read in April. And I'm also going to show you my May TBR. It's going to be May. Um, so if you want to see that, keep on watching. So April was probably my best reading month so far in 2017 and I know I'll probably read more during the summer but I'm so proud of myself for how much I read. It was a really really good reading month and I got over my reading slump and all I've wanted to do is read so I'm just reading, reading, reading and flying through books and yeah, I couldn't be happier. Um, so in April, I read five books. I don't have the first one with me because it's currently at home. But yeah, so the first book that I read in April that is currently not in my dorm room is The Book Thief by Marcus Zizak. Oh my god. The Book Thief is probably one of my favorite books of all time and one of my favorite books I read in 2017. I rated it um, 5 out of 5 stars. I will link my spoiler free review down below that's on my blog and I also um, did a book talk on it with all the spoilers if you have read the book and want to watch it. I will put it somewhere up there above my head or to the side um, if you want to check that out. But the Book Thief was so freaking good. It really made me think about the Holocaust and the Germans' perspective about World War II, but I highly re recommend it and I'm not going to tell you anymore because you can check out either my book talk or my review. And then the next book I read is also a historical fiction book, YA, about World War II, and that's Salt to the Sea by Bruta Sepetes. I got on a really big historical fiction kick at the beginning of April. This one was amazing also, um, but I did like The Book Thief better, um, but this is definitely one of my favorite books of 2017, and I also rated it 5 out of 5 stars, and it was really good. Um, it's about um, different people from all over. There's somebody from Germany, somebody from Prussia, somebody from Poland, and it's about them um, on this long journey in the winter, not everybody makes it, um, trying to get to the ports to get on the ship to freedom during World War II. And <clears throat> each chapter is 
a different perspective and each chapter is told by a different narrator. It follows four different narrators, Amelia, Joanna, Florian, and Alfred. And Alfred is a German soldier. Um, Floria, Floria, Florian is a, um, Prussian, Milia is Polish, and Joanna is Lithuanian, but every chapter is like only a couple pages long, and the writing is really big, and it's such a quick read. I read it in one sitting, and I highly recommend it, but I'm not going to say much more, because I also wrote a spoiler pre-review on my blog that I'll link down below, and I did a book talk that will appear somewhere up here if you want to watch it. So yeah, the book I read in April is, um... A graphic novel called American Born Chinese by Jin Luan Yang, I think. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced that. But it's a really good graphic novel. Um, it's about a Chinese American student and his life in America. And I highly recommend it. I don't have a review or anything, but... It's really good. It has, it incorporates Chinese parables with this boy's life, and there's a twist at the end, and it's such a, an amazing graphic novel, and it's probably one of my favorite graphic novels of all time, and I rated that 5 out of 5 stars. <clears throat> and then the fourth book I read in April is The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. <sighs> the Night Circus was so good. OMG, The Night Circus was so freaking good. Um, I also rated it 5 out of 5 stars, and I also wrote a review on it on my blog, which I will link down below. Um, and a spoiler free. But this is about a circus who, a circus that um, appears out of nowhere randomly at night without a warning or notice. And there's a duel between two magician, magicians named Marco and Celia and their stage is kind of the circus and the circus is very unique and different than any circus you've probably ever read about. And I love this book, it's so magical and whimsical. And I love it from the bottom of my heart. But if you wanna know more of what I thought, you can read my review, which again, I'll link it down below. <clears throat> the last and final book I finished in April, the fifth book, is 13 Reasons Why by J. Asher. Yes, I got it right that time. Um, I keep on wanting to say James Dasner and everything, my book talk, my book review, everything. So I'm proud of myself for getting the author's name right. But <clears throat> this book I also rated 5 out of 5 stars. And I wrote a... Or no, I did a book talk on it, which I'll link below or above somewhere. I'll put, it will pop up up here somewhere if you want to watch that, if you read the book. But <clears throat> if you haven't heard of this book, I don't know where you've been. But it's about a girl named Hannah Baker who unfortunately and tragically commutes commit suicide and she leaves a set of um, tapes behind basically saying the 13 reasons why she committed suicide and the book follows Clay Jensen who listens to all the tapes and he tries to kind of understand why she committed suicide. I think this book 
was really really good and I highly recommend it <clears throat> so again I am very very proud of myself for reading five books in April and I also started reading three other books so I'll start off with that to kind of segue into my May TBR because I would like to either read them or finish them in May. So the first one is Outlander by Diana Gabaldon and I read about 200 pages of it during the Tome Topple readathon and I loved it. Um, it was really, really good, and on certain parts, I couldn't put it down, but the writing is just so small, and some parts are really slow-paced, so it took me forever to read, and I wanted to be able to read a whole book during Tome Topple, so I ended up reading Night Circus instead, but I hopefully want to finish Outlander either in May or June. Um, <clears throat> but Outlander, for those of you who don't know, it is an adult novel, <clears throat> and it takes place in Scotland, and, um, this girl goes to these, um, stones, Stone hinges, that's what they're called. And she basically goes through them and travels back in time to the time of the Highlanders. Um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying it and I want to finish it either in May or June. And the next book I started reading, I think actually in March, I'm still reading it, um, it's Rarity of the Hollow, I'll link the author in the book down below, I forget the author's name, but the author asked me to read it for an honest review, um, so that's my top priority to finish it and maybe the beginning of May and have my review up. <clears throat> so I really, 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 really need to read that book and do the review for the author since he kindly sent me a free ebook to read in order for me to review it. So I definitely need to read it in May and review it. But yeah. Then the last book I started in April that I want to finish in May is Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. <coughs> um, I started reading this during Dewey's 24 hour readathon this past weekend and I absolutely loved it. I kind of put it down but then I got swamped with papers and projects that were due yesterday and I had to put it down so I'm hoping to finish it today. Um, I'm currently on page 119 and there's only like 300 pages so I'm hoping to finish it tonight. So I want to finish reading those three books in May. Outlander, I won't be upset if I don't finish it in May as long as I finish it in June. But um, let's move on to my May TBR. So the first book I want to read in May is and then there were none by Agatha Christie. I own a lot of books by Agatha Christie. Um, and I have the book Mystery at the Orient Express, which I want to read um, over the summer before the movie comes out. Um, 
but I wanted to start with her most popular book. So I decided I would start with And Then There Were Nine. And if I like her writing, I will then read Mystery at the Orient Express before the movie comes out. But And Then There Were Nine takes place on an island and there's all these people on an island and they're kind of trapped on an island, I believe, and somebody get, ends up getting murdered, and the whole book is kind of a murder mystery novel, and it reminds me kind of the game Clue, where during the whole novel, you're trying to figure out who killed who, um, and I'm really looking forward to it. So the next book I want to read in May is The Gunslinger, um, book one in the Dark Tra Tower series, I believe, and that's by Stephen King. Um, they are making a Dark Tower movie, so I want to read the books before I see the movie. Um, and this book is pretty short. It's only like 200 some pages and the writing is really big too so it shouldn't take me too long to read um it's probably one of the shorter of stephen king books i have so i thought it would be a good like way to immerse myself into stephen king's writing and see if i like it or not <clears throat> but this book follows um Roland and he's a loner on a spellbinding journey into good and evil. Um and it's kind of a desolate world um with the wreckage of civility he tracks the man in black, encounters an enticing woman named Alice, and begins a friendship with a boy from New York named Jake. Um, and it says it's very eerie and realistic and eerily dreamlike. Um, what I've heard from other people is it's kind of like a thriller and fantasy and horror and western all kind of like weaved or woven together so i'm really looking for that or really looking forward to that one <clears throat> and then the next book i want to read was on my april tbr but unfortunately i never had time for it and that book is Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins and this is a YA contemporary um <clears throat> it's about a girl named Anna who is happy in Atlanta but then her father sends her away to boarding school in Paris and she meets a cute French boy and they have a little romance and I'm really looking forward to reading that one because I love anything to do with Paris and yeah that will be the perfect like little fluffy read. And then the next book is The Constant Princess by Philippa Gregory. Um, this is in the Tudor either the Tudor series or the other series but it was recommended to read first um out of all her books because it follows the first wife of King Henry the Eighth um Catherine of Aragon and yeah, I'm looking forward to reading it and starting the series and seeing how I like her writing. <clears throat> the next book I want to read in April is The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter. 
OMG. I meant to read this in April, but I didn't have time. But I'm gonna read it right after I read Everything Everything and Rarity is a Hollow because so many people rave about it and oh my god, it sounds so good. But it's about a girl named Blue Sergeant. Um, it has to do with these raven boys and being clairvoyant and being able to like see dead people and there's like paranormal aspect and fantasy and I'm really 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 looking forward to it <clears throat> and then the next book I want to read is The Scorch Trials by James Dasner which is the second book in the Maze Runner trilogy I read The Maze Runner such a long time ago, and it's not that I didn't like it, I really did, but there were so many other books that because of booktube I wanted to read, and I totally forgot about the series, and I haven't watched the movie yet because I haven't read the book, so I need to read the book so I can watch the movie, and also I need to read the third book the death curve before that movie comes out and I really need to catch up because I'm really behind. <clears throat> and then the next two books I want to read in May are actually at home but I'm wanting to read um, Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare which is the first book in the Infernal Devices trilogy and then the first book, yeah. And then I want to read, um, what is it called? Um, City of Fallen Angels, also by Cassandra Clare. It was recommended to read, um, all the books in both the Mortal Instruments series and the Infernal Devices series in order of public so I've already read the first three books in the Mortal Instruments series, City of Bone, City of Ashes, and City of Glass. So now I'm going to read the first book in the, Mor er, the Infernal Devices, and then I'll read the fourth book in the Mortal Instruments. So I'm looking forward to continuing the Mortal Instruments which is one of my favorite series of all time, and starting the Infernal Devices. So yay! <clears throat> and then in May, I will also be participating in the Harry Potter Readathon, which starts in May um, and goes to like June. So each week you're supposed to read different books and watch like the movies. So the first week starting May 15th, you're supposed to read the first book in the Harry Potter series, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone for Americans. And then in the UK, I believe it's called the Philosopher's Stone and you're supposed to watch that movie. <clears throat> And you're also supposed to read the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them screenplay. I've already read the first book, so I'm going to watch the movie for the first book in May. And then I'm also going to read Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the screenplay by J.K. Rowling. And then I'll watch that movie I saw it in the theater, but, and I got the movie for Easter, so I really need to read the book and rewatch the movie. So, alright, that is my April wrap-up and my May TBR. My birthday is also in May, so I'm sure I'll get some books for my birthday, and if I do, I'll probably read them in May as well, so my TBR may change. But... I would love to talk to you in the comments, um, let me know what you read in April and what you're planning on reading in May, um, and let me know what you're planning on reading, um, 
yeah, but like this video if you liked any of the books I read or I'm reading. Subscribe if you liked what you're if you like what you're seeing and I will talk to you later. Bye.